Welcome back to this lecture. In the previous section, we discussed the testing hypothesis for population mean. But today, I'm going to discuss the testing hypothesis for population variance. It is a new topic, but if you understood, understood the, the testing hypothesis for population mean, it is very similar. Not only this section, maybe all the other testing hypotheses, they are very similar. Let's look at the example related with this testing hypothesis. Suppose you, you belong to a company which produces uh, some bolt. And you supply to some automatic, automobile maker. I expect you have a average diameter, 7 mm, but variance is 0.25. Okay? Recently, the rival company said, well, they produce a better product. In a sense, uh, average is the same and variance is 0.6. Why it is better? Well, in case of uh, some product, well, the variance is a matter of quality. If you are making a same product, which has the same mean, like uh, diameter is 7 milliliter, but if variance is small, that means uh, the quality of your product is better. We want to check that. Uh, that's the motivation of this testing hypothesis. Another one is, suppose you took uh, SAT score, and you are saying that it is easier. The math exam is easier. How can you justify that? It can be smaller if it is uh, easy, but that is another motivation of this testing hypothesis. How can you do that? Well, do you remember in chapter 6 we discussed uh, all possible sample variance? Okay. Let's save a red pencil. Well, suppose you, you have all possible sample. If you multiply n minus 1 divided by sigma square is some kind of constant. We discussed that this is chi square n minus 1 degree of freedom. Well, again, the testing hypothesis is based on sampling distribution. How can you do that? If I plot this chi square distribution, it looks like this. I mean, this is the distribution of some transformed value of sample variance. Okay. This is chi square m minus 1. And suppose you, your sample variance multiplied by this const constant located at the center, that means accept at 0. Depending alternative hypothesis, well, if it is located at the right tail, let's say if the significance level is 5%, check a critical value such that this is the 5 percentile. If it is exceed this critical line, you will lose it. Okay? If it is uh, the less than problem, the alternative hypothesis, you will check left tail. We simply, if it is in the middle, you will accept. If it is uh, far, either right tail or left tail, you will reject. Okay? In case of a not equal alternative hypothesis, you need to check both tail. If it is alpha 5%, you are checking 2.5%. But be sure this is uh, not symmetric distribution, Therefore, you need to check both of them. In case of normal or T, it is symmetric. 
you check uh, right tail only, then put negative sign. But here you need to check both of them in case of a two tail test. Here it is. Uh, there are three types of hypothesis. The H0 look like this. But you may, as we mentioned already, if it is greater than, you may consider this is less than. If it is less than, you may consider this is greater than. That's the same kind of decision rule. Anyway, if it is right tail, the sample statistic, instead of sigma square, we just use this value to here. That means these are the constant multiplied by S square is greater than chi square critical value in the right tail. Then we lose it. In case of left tail, I mean less than problem, uh, if it is less than this value, you will reject. Two tail test, you need to check 2.5% each. Okay? You have to look up chi square minus 1, alpha over 2, or 1 minus alpha over 2. Let's consider example. Well, suppose you produce a bolt, the diameter is 15 milliliter. If it is less than 0 0.10 square, well, you can supply to some automobile company. Well, you check the 25 sample, and then their variance is 0.1 of square, 1.5 square. Do you think you can supply to the automobile company? That's the question. I'd like to use a 5% significance level. Let's look at. The first thing you have to do is to set up hypothesis. This is reasonable to write down as less than, because if it is less than 0.1 square, you are, you can uh, supply to the automobile company. Okay. The alternative hypothesis is uh, greater than equal. Maybe you may say that it is uh, just greater than, well, it is uh, in case of continuous equality sign is not so important. Critical line look like this. Therefore, if your sample statistic value, transformed value, is, crit is greater than critical line, reject H0. Here's a sample variance, and the transformed of this sample statistic become 54. This chi-square, M-1, that's 24.05, is 36.2. 0.42, therefore you have to reject. Let's practice in East and U. Are you ready to use that East and U? Type www.eastandme, click East and U. Where is testing hypothesis for population variance? It's here. What am I supposed to do? You want to test that sigma square equal sigma zero square. In our case, it's a point one square. What is that? It's a point one square means zero point zero one. We want to test that whether it is less than point zero one or greater than that number. So right tail test. Okay, sample size is 25. What is the sample variance? It's 0.15 square, that is 0 0.0.0225. 0 Click Execute button, will generate this output. This is the critical value, 36.415. But your test statistic will look like uh, this number, 54, therefore, it is located far right tail corner. Therefore, you have to reject that. 
Okay, we are done. This uh, practice. What's next? Well, this uh, example demonstrates e step practice. You have uh, how many data? You have uh, this amount of data, 10 data about the height. Let's copy this. Test the hypothesis whether the population variance is greater than 25. Okay. How can you do that? Let's uh, go to East Head. Maybe it's in the example folder. Go to ebook. And then we are doing chapter 7. One o oh, four. Yes, it looks like this. This is the same data. We want to practice uh, the testing variance of this number. We want to test today whether variance is greater than twenty five. Maybe null hypothesis is just uh, null hypothesis is just. Uh, Sigma square is 25. We are checking the right tail. Uh, let's do it. How can you do that? We have data. Okay, we have 10 data. And then you have a module testing hypothesis for population variance. This is it. Then clicking this height data will give you some confidence interval and then dot graph how can you do next test you want to test that what is uh, your objective you want to test that it is 25 alternative hypothesis is greater than well, just uh, type 25 alternative is uh, greater than and then alpha is five uh, percent. Then, if you apply chi-square test, this is it. You collect uh, ten observations. The sample mean is uh, one seventy-six. Well, they provide you standard deviation and standard error. It's uh, sigma divided by square root n. Here's a test, test result. It's a sample statistic. Well, since it is uh, located in the middle, you will accept H0. Okay. I mean, our sample variance is uh, what? The variance uh, of this problem is uh, 4.8 square. Okay. Uh, we want to test that whether it is 25 or more. Okay. Well, therefore, since our sample standard deviation is what is close to H0, is 25, uh, therefore, well, if you calculate p value, it is the value corresponding to sample variance. It is uh, more than 50%, therefore, you will Accept H0. This graph shows that. Okay, we studied this. Okay, this is the final result. We are done for testing hypothesis for population variance. In the next lecture, we will discuss uh, testing hypothesis for population proportion. See you.